Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you would factory default your residual layer controller. Now when you factory default your residual layer controller, uh, you're going to load the default configuration on your system. In order, to, in order to access the default configuration, you will need the installer code uh, to be able to get into that. Now when you, uh, when you do load the default configuration, um, it's going to clear all of your zones that you've had uh, set up. It's going to clear all of your panel time settings. Um, it's going to default the installer code back to its original, which is 4112. Um, and it's also going to completely default all of your system settings. Now, one of the reasons as to why you, you had to factory default the system is if your panel was on uh, firmware version MR7 or earlier. So what I mean by that is when you set up the system with an Alarmnet 360 account uh, to be set up for monitoring and you were to cancel that account, um, when you, if you wanted to reset up the system with monitoring services, then you do have to perform the factory default in order to set it up with monitoring again. Um, now, it doesn't matter whether you're setting it up with the, uh, an existing company that you had canceled with earlier or even with a new company. Um, either way, if you're on that earlier firmware version, then you will have to factory default uh, the system to reset it up. So when you're setting up your Lyric system with new monitoring service, um, you will have to completely reprogram the system. So all of your six series devices will need to be re-added to the system as well. Uh, fortunately, because of the new rollout of the firmware version MR8, there's actually no need to factory default uh, the system anymore to set it up with monitoring. Um, if you did need to factory default it, the only real reason why you would have to do it now um, if you are in the current firmware version is if your system is exhibiting any um, abnormal behavior or maybe something's going on with it and a factory default might be able to help out with that. Um, now if you wanted to check the firmware version of your system there is um, a link below that you can follow and you just want to check out step three and it will be able to show you um, how to find your firmware version. So when you factory default your Lyric system um, as I specified earlier all of your system centers are going to be reset. Um, now, if you wanted to check out the list of the default values or the system's factory default values, um, then just check page 30 of the Lyric installation guide and you should be able to see all of that there. Um, now, when you do factory default your system, there's unfortunately no way of being able to undo that default. Um, but there is a workaround to it. If you had an upload of your previous programming with an Alarmnet 360, um, then you could have that programming pushed back into the system and your system settings will be back in uh, the way they were. The only way to do this though is if you had alarm monitoring services and your current monitoring company um, or your previous monitoring company has an upload of your old programming. So you definitely just want to keep that in mind um, to uh, before you factory default your system. Uh, just make sure or check with your company and see if they can um, upload the programming before you do anything like that. So when you factory default a Honeywell Lyric system, um, any six series devices that you have programmed uh, will be released. Now in order for these sensors to receive the signal, um, letting, it, letting them know that they've been released, they have to be powered up and within range of the Lyric when you perform that default. Um, now this is the case for any six series devices except for the Honeywell 6 fob key fob. Um, the Honeywell 6 fob, um, in order to be able to release it, you have to just press a single button when you're in range of the Lyric so that the Lyric can then tell it that it's no longer um, enrolled and it can be set up with a, a brand new Lyric or even the existing Lyric that you just defaulted. Now, when um, if there are any 6 series devices that were not in range or powered up when you perform that default, they will need to be factory or manually factory defaulted um, so that they're no longer enrolled into the system anymore. Um, now, in order to be able to default these six series devices, you do have a limited amount of time, normally about 24 hours, um, after you have enrolled into the system to be able to default those sensors. Now, if you wanted to check out more information about the time to be able to uh, factory default them, just follow the link in the description below uh, to be able to check that out. Now, when you factory default your Honeywell Lyric system, um, it will disassociate it from the Alarmnet 360 account. You can reassociate it by manually running a new panel association on the system itself. 
Um, once that system has been reassociated with the Alarmnet 360 account, then you, uh, you can have the prior programming re-downloaded back onto the system automatically. Now, if you wanted to run a new panel association on the system, uh, you'll just follow these simple steps real quick. So at the main screen, you'll just press security. Um, and then next, you're gonna go into tools and you're gonna type in the installer code. The default installer code is 4112. You're gonna go um, into new pane association. So once you type in the installer code, you actually should see the new pane association right here. What you do is just press on that and then it's going to uh, initiate the process of trying to connect back into the um, Alarmnet 360 account. So once you have done that, you'll just hit the back arrow to go back to the main screen. Now, when you've reassociated uh, the Honeywell Lyric to the Alarmnet 360 account, um, just go through the six series programming to reprogram all of your six series devices back into your uh, Lyric system. Now, if you wanted to be able to factory default your Residio Lyric controller, you just follow these simple steps. Uh, so at the main screen, you'll just press security. You're gonna go into tools, and then you're gonna type in the installer code. Uh, the default installer code is 4112. So you're gonna go into program, you're gonna hit the down arrow, and then you're gonna see default config. So once you tap on that, you're gonna get this window asking uh, whether yes or no, if you want to factory default your system. Now I'm not gonna press yes in this video because we do have the system set up uh, with an account and everything already, uh, but you normally just press yes, and it's gonna take you back to this window. Um, once you have confirmed that all of your settings have been factory default and everything is correct, uh, you set the back arrow, go all the way back to the main screen. And that is how you factory default your Residio Lear controller. If you have any questions about the Residio Lear controller or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.